Hi guys, this is the first of the three Ed Puzzle videos that you're going to be watching on Monday the 15th. And this is just a little bit of housekeeping. Nice job on the test if you haven't already looked down on the web page for the results. Take a look. I'm really very proud and we'll talk more about it tomorrow. To start, I just want to show you um, a tool that we're going to be using a whole lot going forward. If you haven't already done so, please open cram.com. We're going to be doing video one right here and we will need to refer to this document. So you should have cram open in one tab and then if you will um, just follow along with me in this document, you can control click to open it in a new tab and look at that. Basically what I'm going to show you how to do is to use a screenshot in order to add an image to CRAM. And one reason you're going to want to do this is so that you can add, for example, pictures of graphs to your flashcards. So you've got CRAM open. In CRAM you want to navigate to your flashcard bank for this class. So for me what I do is I go to the dashboard and then I click on AP Calculus Vocab and I click Edit This Set. And this brings up the set, and then I just scroll down. These are all the words that I've got so far. And then all the way down at the bottom, there's a spot where it says you can add a new card. We're going to come back to that in a second. OK, once you've got Cram open, on your um, Chrome, you're going to want to open the document or image. The first thing you're going to open in order to add to Cram is the function families. So right here back on my website, the function graphs. Again, open it in a new tab. And your task for right now is going to be to add each of these shapes to Cram where the graph itself is the front of the flashcard and the name and the function are the back. So in order to add this to Cram, you're going to take a screenshot. On your Chrome, you want to press Control, Shift, and this button all at the same time. I'm on a MacBook, which is going to look a little different, but either way, when we press that, we should end up with a little cursor that allows you to kind of take a picture of a piece. So here I am. These are my parent functions. I'm hitting Control, Shift, Window, and I get these little crosshairs, and then I can just click and drag to take a picture and you hear that little sound. Once you've taken that picture you will see um, a little sign pop up in the bottom of your window. You don't need to do anything with it that just tells you it was successful. But you've got that picture there and now you're gonna go back in to Cram and you're gonna click add a new card and then click on that new card and at the bottom this button right here allows you to add an image. You're going to click Upload Image. And mine looks different than yours because I'm on a MacBook. But yours, what pops up, you will have an option for downloads. And in the downloads, you should see it says Screenshot. My screenshot happens to be on my desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and take that screenshot instead. And you can use the time just to make sure that you have the right one. I think the right one for me was this one. And when you select it, you should see that the graph appears right here. And then you can come over here to the next side and you can just type in that this is the constant function. And the equation for the constant function is that f of x equals a. And a would just be some number. All set there, you're going to hit tab and do the whole thing again with the next shape. You'll pause your Edpuzzle video until you're done with these. Shouldn't take too long. If you get stuck, you're welcome to rewatch or to go back to the document with the instructions. I'll give you some time now. Okay, once you're done adding all of those images on Cram, make sure that you scroll down and hit Update Set. Otherwise, oh, and if you have a blank card, it'll ask you to get rid of that. Um, but make sure that you update the set, otherwise it won't save the work that you've done. And what we're going to do next is we're actually going to start a new set of flashcards using the same skill you just learned. So being able to add images will allow you to do something else, which is a really important study technique, which is to create your own test bank. So on CRAM, if you didn't see, I went back to my dashboard, and I'm now going to hit create a new set. You should do this at the same time. I'm going to title this set AP Practice, and then in parentheses, multiple choice. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to create an ongoing bank of practice questions that you can use to quiz yourself because all of the questions on every test are going to end up coming back. And one of the best ways to practice, of course, is just to, to look at those. So once I've got my title set up, I'm going to come down here. And I'm going to use that same skill to add multiple choice questions here and their answers here. The first set of questions that you're going to answer during class today is just the questions from the practice test that I gave you. So the link to the blank version is on my web page. Open it in a new tab. And same thing with the answers. So here are the answers. Open that in a new tab too. And then we're going to screenshot using that same skill. So I'm going to close my parent functions and I'm going to close these instructions because we know how to do it. And here I am, I've got cram open in one tab, and I've got the practice test in another tab, and the answers in my third tab. So if I go ahead to the first question, I'm going to take a screenshot of the question. I'm going to go back to cram. I'm going to upload that question into... The question size and then right here on the back I'm going to upload a screenshot of the answer so this is the answer and I'm going to screenshot this one and just like that I've got a flashcard with a question and then an answer now, I don't know right now, I guess I'm unprepared here, if there's an easy way to scale this image. So go ahead and add the first couple questions, and I will get back to you about scaling the image. And when you are done adding all the multiple choice questions from the practice set, go ahead and click Create Set, which my computer's thinking about, but there we go. This becomes a study tool. We'll talk about it some more in class. The last thing in this video that I'm just going to ask you to do housekeeping wise is um, if you didn't already see this from last class's homework, I'd love for you to leave me some feedback on the course materials, the study materials. So instructions for what you're going to do right now are this homework assignment from Friday. Basically, I'm going to ask you to go to course materials to the unit one link page. It looks like this. And if you used any of these videos to help you study, whether it was in class or at home, I'd like you to leave me some quick feedback. So for example, let's say I watched this video right here, evaluating trig functions. Well, I thought that video was too easy, so I can click on this box. And up here at the top, if you go to more, this button right here is allows you to insert a comment, which I did right here, and I said, oh, this is too easy. The feedback that I'm looking for is feedback about what was helpful or not helpful. It should be short because everybody else will be able to see it. You can say both positive and negative things. For example, oh, this video is really clear. I appreciate how she showed her work. Or this video, the woman spoke too quickly and I found it difficult to understand. Stuff like that. That's going to help me make better choices in the future about the videos that I refer you to. Because I know that it is challenging sometimes to learn from other people. But I also know that there are other people who explain things really well. And I want to be able to identify what works for you. I'll give you a moment to do that. Um, no pressure to add lots of comments, but one or two would be very helpful for me. Thank you. Okay, once you're done there, that's it for this video. And your next assignment is going to be the test corrections video, which is the next Ed Puzzle assignment. Thanks, guys.